Hey everyone, I'm Ginny Dietrich and our friends at Radian 6 asked me if I would do a vlog, a video blog, on the future of analytics in three minutes. So I'm not an auctioneer, so I'm going to try really hard to get it into three minutes. The future of analytics from an integrated marketing communications background. So there are four things that I believe, and I made you some signs. <clears throat> Wrong way. Public relations, not publicity, can and should be measured to sales results. <laughs> Other way. <laughs> Public relations professionals need to gain some basic marketing skills or our industry will become defunct. <clears throat> Public relations is the very best place for content development because we are, after all, writers. And really good content does more than attract website visitors or increase brand awareness. It generates inbound leads for the sales team. Now because of these four beliefs and the world social opens up to us, the work we do can and should be measured. I'm not talking about sentiment and number of fans and followers either. I'm talking about real hard numbers that actually translate to the bottom line. So we're not talking sentiment, we're not talking impressions, we're not talking advertising equivalency, we're not talking fans and followers, we're talking about real hard numbers. So I have three ways that you can do that. The first is you should be looking at a very basic level how much of your traffic is coming from Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Google+. Okay? Are the social networks contributing to a significant portion of your website? If not, you need to be thinking about how you can use the tools to drive people back to a web property that you own. And always track where that traffic's coming from. It's cool now because with Google+, Plus, it'll actually say in your Google Analytics, plus.google.com, and it'll give you a traffic number. It's really awesome. So number two, create unique URLs that you can track. For instance, Brand Underwood has a URL in her Twitter bio. You see that? This way? Um, that drives people to a page that's specific to what you'll find if you follow her on Twitter. And because it's a unique URL and she uses it in her Twitter bio, she can track how many visitors she has to that page from Twitter. Think about how how you can also use inbound marketing to both boost your traffic and create content that people find valuable and develop trust with your company so they'll buy from you. My last slide. Marcus Sheridan, the CEO of River, River Pools and Spas and the Sales Line, does a phenomenal job of creating content that generates leads for his business. He tracks how many of those leads come from search, social media, referrals, email marketing, and more. So the three you have are Google Analytics, unique URLs, and content that drives inbound marketing as three easy ways to measure your social efforts. Now it's your turn. What would you add?